Welcome to Inside the Vandals, a weekly show covering men's and women's basketball. Inside the Vandals is brought to you by the School of Journalism and Mass Media and by the Coeur d'Alene Casino, Hotel, Spa, and Resort. Welcome to Inside the Vandals, brought to you by the Coeur d'Alene Casino, Hotel, and Resort. I'm Zach Kellogg. In Idaho men's and women's basketball open up the Big Sky season tonight with the men on the road in Pocatello playing the Bengals later tonight. But the Idaho women are here in Cowan Spectrum for the annual Battle of the Domes rivalry game. And I had the chance to catch up with Idaho head coach John Newley to talk about the non-conference season and what the Vandals need to do to start off the Big Sky season on the right foot. So we are now joined by women's head coach John Newley. Coach Newley, thanks for joining us for the first time this season. Yeah, you bet. Glad to be here. All right, so starting things off for the fans that haven't always kept up with the team, how's the team doing so far in your eyes with about eight games under your belt in the non-conference season? I think we've had a really good non-conference season. Um, very challenging schedule like always. You know, I really like to test our team um, early on and I think uh, as we've gotten along, we've gotten a lot better every game. Um, you know, our motto is get better every day and I think we, we have been. I, I'm uh, really pleased with our progress so far. And you guys have been on the road a lot, so a lot of the fans haven't been able to see the team play here at home. A lot of new faces coming to the program. Um, what, are, what are some things you can say about them for maybe, like I said, the fans that haven't been here be able to watch them play? Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a long road stretch, I know that. A lot of road games, but I think, um, you know, team-wise we're, we're playing much better defense, I think, than we ever have. Um, since I've been here. Uh, we've really made great strides defensively this year. Uh, the offense is starting to flow together. Um, we're trying to new things this year offensively, uh, getting everybody's involved, and I think uh, it's been a great but slow process. And we've talked a little bit, like you said, on the defense. You Earlier season you said this might be the best defense since Ali Ford was on the team with the Carly Wilson squad. Um, kind of what has been the main thing you've been pushing on this team defensively to get those kind of results you have? I think we've really been uh, pushing our team defense. Um, you know, Allie was a great shot blocker and really saved a lot of people at the rim. And Carly was, you know, so tenacious on the ball. Well, Gina's done a great job of, of doing that same thing that Carly did on the ball, on ball handlers. And as a team, we're doing a great job of keeping people uh, from get, really getting to the rim and running them off the three-point line, which I think has really been a key to our success. And this season, looking at the stats, you guys are in the top two or three in opposing field goal percentage, opposing three-point percentage and top three in blocks, I believe. You guys have just been outstanding in terms of just that team defense like you touched on. Um, outside of Gina, who's been a player that's helping man down the middle or helping man down those, those players on the outside and not letting them get open shots? Well, you know, Natalie uh, has done a good job. Our five players have. Nat and Iz um, inside have done a good job of cleaning things up in there. But I think our perimeter, our length on the perimeter has really helped. Um, Lizzie Klinker has really done a great job. Having Beyonce and uh, Haley Christopher with their length playing on the perimeter has really helped. And of course, you know, Allie Kirby has always been our, our best defender, you know, since she's been here and she's uh, continuing that. And like you said, Beyonce, we want to touch on her a little bit. She's been having a tear in the non-conference season, pretty much in the top 10 or 15 in points, rebounds and assists. Can you touch on how she's been performing as a freshman coming in and putting up those kind of numbers? I think she's done good, at, like any freshman, up and down. Um, I'm, you know, I'm on her constantly to even to shoot it more. You know, she passes up too many open shots, I think, um, you know, and, and gets too passive at times. So it really kind of worked on her being more aggressive as we get into the conference season. But I think she's done a great job of really um, assimilating with the rest of the team and, and you know, just finding her way like, like any freshman. And I want to touch on Gina Markson. She's leading the big sky and made three-pointers a game. She, she's been kind of picking up where Michaela and Taylor left off as being that three-point shooting threat. Have you just kind of been telling her to just pull the trigger when she has the chance from three? No, she knows she has a total green light. Uh, I will, she does know that. Um, and she's done a great job, really, though, of taking great shots and, and really taking that leadership role from the point. And now looking forward, first up, start off the Big Sky, Battle of the Domes here in Cowan Spectrum. Idaho State, your former team, always gives you guys headaches or you guys <laughs> always have a good match between you two. Coming into this game, what's kind of the main thing you want to make sure you get to get on the right foot in the Big Sky? Well, we got to bring that defense we brought in a non-conference against, you know, really good teams like San Diego, South Florida, teams that we really shut down. And we got to bring that same mentality against Idaho State. You know, and they're supposedly known for their defense. Well, I think we need to get out there and really show them and, and outplay them at the defensive end. And offensively, we just need to attack the rim. I think we need to be in attack mode um, when we see them come in here. And I want to touch on Weber State as well. They're, you guys are playing them later in the week. Um, rebounding, how important is that to you guys in trying to pick a win against the Wildcats here in Cowan Spectrum? So I know you guys have been playing pretty solid on the defensive boards this season. Yeah, rebounding's really been a big key. Um, 
you know, ever since we, we gave up uh, way too many in a couple of games in the non-conference, and we've really talked about that, you know, finishing defensive possessions with the rebound, you know, because we play great defense, they take a shot, and then they're, now we got to do it again, and then we had to do it again, and then do it again. So, uh, you know, we're cutting down the possessions, we're doing a better job rebounding. Weber's a different team. They, they lost a lot of players, um, and watching them, they start, I think, three freshmen the last time I saw. Um, and so it'll be a different challenge for us against Weber. And coach, my last question here, how does it feel to finally have conference play here in Cowan Spectrum? It feels great. <laughs> With all those road games we had to be here back home in Cowan, you know, we played so well uh, Saturday night. Hopefully we just keep that going. Coach Newey, thank you for joining us and good luck against the Bengals. All right, thanks. We'll be right back with Inside the Vandals. For centuries, we, the Coeur d'Alene tribe, have honored our resources as good stewards and our region as good neighbors. We've built a world-class casino resort hotel that supports hundreds of jobs, funds health care and other services, and has generated more than $33 million for education. Because we've been an integral part of this land for generations, and we will be for generations to come. Welcome back to Inside the Vandals. The Idaho women's basketball team are 4-4 four and four coming into the Big Sky season, having a very tough non-conference schedule, something that Coach John Newley said is something he tries to tailor for every single season. One of the standouts in the non-conference was freshman forward Beyonce B, who's in the top 10 in scoring assists and rebounds for this Idaho team in the Big Sky. I had the chance to talk to her about how the non-conference season went as a Vandal and also playing in her first Big Sky match here in Cowan Spectrum. Now I'm joined by freshman forward Beyonce B. Beyonce, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, how are you? All right, you guys just got done with practice and now you guys are getting ready for Idaho State. But first I wanna talk about the non-conference schedule. You being a freshman, this being your first test across John Newley's very tough non-conference schedule <laughs> you always likes to lay out. How'd it go for you and the team? Um, I think we did really well. You know, we had a, tuple, or a couple tough games where we battled and um, some, you know, uh, didn't end our way, but I think we learned a lot from them. Um, we got better every game, so. And kind of coming out of the non-conference now, what's one thing you really want to make sure that you guys hit on in terms of a team to make sure you guys are ready for Idaho State and Weber State coming up this week? I think our biggest thing is just um, playing to our level um, and being consistent, you know, doing what we know how to do and what we've been practicing for um, and just, you know, um, doing all the little things the right way like we've been working on. And I've noticed that defensively, you guys have been playing pretty outstanding this year in opposing field goal percentage and three-point mm -hmm. percentage. Has that been something Coach Newey's really been stressing on you guys throughout this season so far? Yeah, defense has been huge for us, um, especially in preseason. We focused on that a lot and just uh, really wanted to improve on defense as a team. And you know, defense wins games, so that's been something that's really important to us. For you, what are you trying to do in your game to help provide that offense on the, uh, that, that offense and get some more points? Yeah, I'm just trying to be um, as aggressive as I can. You know, uh, shoot it when I'm open just to, you know, take the right shots that the team needs me to take so that we can, you know, be what we can on offense. Now best. you guys are coming up against Idaho State in the Battle of the Domes, mm -hmm. the rivalry game between these two schools. Is it kind of exciting now that you're finally here in, big, in the Big Sky season? Yeah, I think we're all really excited to start conference and just get after it, get some wins, and uh, see what we can do. All right, and Beyonce, last thing I want to ask you, how does it feel to be a Vandal and wearing the, the <laughs> silver and gold? Oh, it feels awesome. I love it here. I love this team and uh, just had a really awesome experience so far. Thank you, Beyonce, being Thank good you. luck against Idaho State. <laughs> Thank you. We'll be right back with Inside the Vandals. Here you go, hon. Hello, I'm an Idaho potato farmer. Did you ever notice that the very first bite of every great meal is always the potato? That's why it should always be an Idaho potato. Only genuine Idaho potatoes have the perfect taste and texture to get your meal started right. Oh, hey, look, it's huge. Oops, gotta go. Welcome back to Inside the Vandals. Now looking at the Idaho men, they're at, finished the non-conference season with a four and seven record, now playing on the road against Idaho State later tonight. In the non-conference season, injuries have really plagued this team. The starting lineup varying almost game to game, not knowing who's gonna be available. Interim head coach Zach Claus is trying to piece this team together. And now with Jack Wilson with the program, after a year long hiatus, after transferring Morgan State, this team's looking to start the Big Sky season on the right foot. But next, Idaho women's basketball playing here in Cowan Spectrum against the Idaho State Bengals for the Battle of the Domes rivalry game. Doug Taylor with the call. For Inside the Vandals, I'm Zach Kellogg. We'll see you all next time.